It's very confusing. I dare say. I dare say it is, kid. Hey, you're up, kid. Teaspoon, this job ain't easy. <laughs> Let's go! Pull him out. He's a good one. He ran 30 miles. 30 miles, did you say? Anybody want an onion? Good for the blood. Stop talking behind my back. I want to congratulate you, boys. What? Sticking together, staying alive. And that ain't nothing but dumb luck, so don't go getting smoked. Do you like us, Teaspoon? Can't say. <clears throat> ain't paid to like y'all. Besides, this here Pony Express is job enough, and it ain't nothing but... Sweat and trouble. That's right. This is a good onion. Mm -hmm. You're up, kid. Come on, let's go get him, kid. Fifteen minutes yet. You're always ahead of time. <laughs> what did I tell you? Ah! Oh, the cage is wide open again, Roy. I nearly got busted wide open myself. The car was right on the north port. I'll be careful. I'll be seeing you. You... Our lawman turned his back. You see, I told you I couldn't be hung. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you. You could have finished you, but you didn't. Your friend was right. It's a hard lesson, boy. The last one you're gonna learn. Get off that horse. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Want to smoke, Roy? No, thanks. 
find. I know what that means. Will you excuse me? And will you tell me more about the Pony Express later? I do. I'd like to hear more about the Pony Express too, Roy. I suppose they pay you right as well. Some of us make a hundred a month. Is that all? A oh, hundred dear. dollars. A so good to see you. You're always like a breath of the old South. Oh, Senator, you do say the prettiest thing. Said, honey, I need some money. How much this time? Oh, lots. I've got lots to get for the party. Hey, uh... How's your shooting mailman? Why, Britt, you know he's not just a mailman. He's really important. When he rides west tomorrow night, he'll carry army dispatches. He told me so. Oh, I'm afraid he's spoofing you a bit, as the English say. All pony riders carry army dispatches. But not as important as these. They're coming by special courier from Washington. Oh, well, that's fine, sugar. But hadn't you better do your shopping? Oh, I know. You and the senator want to talk over things. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> You're all right. No harm done. Well, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, Brad, Brad. This is my sister, Anne. Anne Roy Rogers, one of the pony riders. How do you do, Mr. Rogers? Very pleased to meet you, Miss Langhorn. I'll not try to thank you, Rogers. Well, that's all right. Somebody had to stop him. You two get in, and I'll drive you back to the station. Well, I, I'd almost rather walk. You're safe enough, miss, with Roy driving. Did they get the horses? You mean your relay critters? No, they didn't. What do you know about that? The poor galoot ain't got a pint of blood left, and he's worrying about a bunch of cayuses. I ain't mistaken. Them was Morrell's raiders. You didn't drive them off yourself, did you? I was alone. The company was sending a helper tomorrow. Well, turn to find a it. You must have gone plumb wild. What's your name? Hickok. Bill Hickok. Don't sit there asking questions. Let's get him inside. The greatest name in cereals presents Wild Bill Hickok! Starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill Hickok. Hey! Wild Bill, wait for me! And Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. Who do you know that doesn't like Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Mark my word. Never heard of sending messages over a piece of wire. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Jim? Punch cows again, I reckon. Seem pretty tame after Pony Express riding. Yeah. I guess I'll hunt buffalo. They say there's pretty good money in hides. What's Johnny Black gonna do? I don't know, but he won't starve. He's been saving his nickels. He's due here in ten seconds. He'll be here in... There he comes now. Here you are, Ed. Right on time, Blair, as usual. Wouldn't want to be late on my last run, Mr. Dodge. Sorry to see it end. So am I. Men, when that mail reaches Sacramento, it means the end of the Pony Express. You've established a record in carrying the mail that will go down in history. In appreciation.
appreciation of your loyalty, the company is giving each of you a gift. Two Pony Express horses, toughest and fastest in the country. Hey, thanks, boss. Just go down to the corrals and pick out the ones you want. And the best of luck to you, boys. Thanks. Thank oh, thanks, Mr. Dodge. Two thoroughbreds each. Well, that's a real gift. Yeah, let's go up and pick them out. What are you going to do with your horses? Sell them. Oh, no, you're not. I got a better idea. We're going to start a stage line. A stage line? Sure, there's plenty of money in it. But we haven't got any stagecoach. Oh, we'll get one. Suits me, partner. And we'll pick out four good stagecoach horses. He's trying to get a peace treaty with Winnemuck. Pony Express was his... His dream, his life. He died for it. The least we can do is keep it going. All right, we'll keep it going. You got to finish your run to Sacramento, Cartwright? You bet I am. Yeah.